Hey, good morning. This is Pastor Harvey Beck. Uh, we're glad you're joining us. I do a Wednesday devotion. Today is Wednesday, June the 21st, 2023. We're glad you're joining us. Uh, most of you know I've been sharing over the last few weeks about our Vacation Bible School, and because it's so much on my heart and my mind, I'm actually going to preach about light again this coming Sunday. Uh, we talked about the fatherhood of God this past Sunday, but we're going to talk about light again because, as I've shared with you, we do Vacation Bible School three weeks. God be with us. Three weeks. So this coming week, we'll start on in the evening time. So it'll be from six to eight in the evening, starting this coming Sunday, the 25th. And so all through the week, we'll finish out on Thursday night. We will have kindergarten through second grade. Same theme that we had the other two weeks it is the word glow, G-L-O-W, which means go light our world. And our theme has been light in different ways that we share light. We've had stories and everything. And I shared with you that we're trying to get the students to memorize these main three scriptures. Now, uh, John 8, 12 was one of the key verses that the BBS program had. And it's Jesus when he spoke again to them in John 8, 12. He said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life, John 8, 12. So we've been trying to teach the kids the importance of that statement, Jesus is light, and if we follow him, then we're not going to walk in darkness. Another thing we've been teaching them, how do we grow in light? How do we grow in knowledge and understanding? Well, one of the key ways is to know, know what the Bible says. Memorizing scriptures is important for our faith and believing what God says. So that's one source of light. Another is prayer. Another is the fellowship of believers who believe in the same light that comes from God above, Jesus Christ. He is the light of the world. And so, and worship is another way. So those are four things that we've been teaching the kids, worshiping God, whether it's individually or corporately as a church body, worshiping God uh, is a way for us to continue to grow in light and to push away darkness. So uh, those are some of our themes. So I'm going to preach about it Sunday. Then another passage, Jesus said, Matthew 14. Now he says to the church, you're the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bow. Instead, they put it on a stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine. So this is coming Sunday, my my sermon title is how, how bright is your light? I mean, how bright are you shining? A great theological question. Um, another scripture that I added, this was not a part of the curriculum of the VBS. And I wanted our kids to hear this. And it's the opening statement in the Bible. The first thing that we have recorded in the Bible that God said, uh, let there be light. And there was light. Genesis 1-3. Let there be light. And so we talked about that in the sun and star and the galaxies that God created. But the first thing he said was, let there be light. And by the way, I have a very bright light coming through that window that you can see. So the analogies we've been able to use um, at Vacation Bible School, hopefully they'll remember it. They'll understand this knowledge. And I'm using the word knowledge because of uh, something I'm about to share with you in the Bible and um, that talks about knowledge and plus just some conversations I've had with some brothers in Christ here. Um, pastor Joe Hastings, uh, one of the pastors here, he's, he and his wife have been here a long time, years, members of the church. He's gifted in discipleship. But he had this book that someone gave him um, on his uh, desk. And uh, anyway, one of you, one of our church members may have given this to him, but it caught my attention on the back. It has this scripture. God said in Hosea 4, 6, Hosea 4, 6, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. So what does that mean? And we're talking about gaining light, gaining understanding to push away darkness. And God's word gives us knowledge, gives us truth. It goes on to say this underneath, and I'm just reading on the back of Greg Larie or Larai, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. God has gone on record. What you don't know 
can hurt you. Let me say that again. God has gone on record that what you don't know can hurt you. When it comes to matters of life and death and eternal destiny, what you know and what you and what you do with that knowledge means everything. So I had read that, trying to teach the kids, get more scripture in them, get light in them, knowledge and understanding. And then I read that my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Then some of us read a devotion called Wake Up Call, and and it focused on Romans 10, uh, 1 through 4. Brothers and sisters, my heart's desire and prayer uh, to God for the Israelites is that they may be saved. For I, I can testify about them that they are zealous for God and their zeal, but, he said, but their zeal is not based on knowledge. Again, so just different things have spoken to me about knowledge. And here we are trying to gain knowledge to our children in BBS. They need to know, have knowledge. They need to know. And then this passage is saying, Paul said, For I can testify about them that they are zealous for God, but their zeal is not based on knowledge. Since they did not know the righteousness of God and sought to establish their own, they did not submit to God's righteousness. Zeal without knowledge. In the devotion, Pastor J.D. Walt said, there are three words you don't want to hear together, and you certainly don't want to hear them spoken of you. Those words are zeal without knowledge. He goes on to say, there is a way of doing the work of God that actually destroys the work of God that way is called zeal without knowledge. So knowledge is extremely important. So I'm glad we're trying to get knowledge inside of our children early on in their age. God said, let there be light. And so by faith, as it says in Hebrews, that the early leaders who followed God, that their faith was that God created the universe and the worlds. We know God said he spoke. That's important knowledge to have, that truth. So with that, again, I picked up a book, and I don't know who gave it to me. No, I do. It was a man here at my church. Uh, it was Jerry. He gave it to me. Truth, A Bigger View of God's Word by Randy Alcorn. And at, Toward the end of the book, it's kind of a devotion book, but at the end, he just talks about true truth, true truth. So he quotes Francis Schaeffer, coined the term true truth to convey the idea of absolute truth that exists independently of human opinion. Schaefer recognized that the word truth was losing its historic meaning. Jesus said, God's word is truth, John 17, 17. It's not prideful to believe what the Bible teaches. It's humble because we recognize that God knows better than we do or the confused voices other than the confused voices of our culture. Arrogance is when we're presumptuous enough to believe whatever suits our taste and preferences and those of modern people who we imagine are smarter and cooler than they really are. So then he ends with this, dismissing Christ as mistaken and the Bible as irrelevant is very prideful beyond description. In fact, in 1 John 5.10, whoever does not believe God has made him a liar. So what could be more arrogant or dangerous than calling God a liar? Even those who claim to believe the Bible can be notoriously selective. Augustine said, if you believe what you like in the gospel and reject what you don't like, it's not the, it's not the gospel that you believe, but just yourself. Um, Hosea said that my people are destroyed because of a lack of knowledge. The word of God for the people of God, and we claim thanks be to God. So um, God said, let there be light. So we're praying that our children would continue to gain the knowledge of the truth. Uh, knowledge is important, and our knowledge and our brightness and our light comes from God. I love you. Hope you have a golden day. Keep on keeping on in Jesus' name. Amen.